Uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, which is part of our series of videos on Excel basics, uh, is going to concentrate on a single function. And in this video, we're going to concentrate on the sum function. This is a special function within Excel that allows us to sum together a series of numbers. Okay, And it's very easy to use. Okay, So for example, what I have here is I have a data set here. Okay, You can see I have one two, three, four, hi, I have five columns of data, okay, uh, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I have twelve rows of data, so I have five columns, I have twelve rows, so in total I have sixty observations here, okay, so I have sixty data values here, and what I'd like to do is, I'd like to know really quickly, what is the sum of all of them particular observations, okay, so I'd like to be able to add all of them numbers together really quickly in Excel, and there's a function Excel in Excel, and it's called the sum function, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sum function, and I'm going to, in this cell here okay right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the answer to what is the sum of this data set okay so in this case here I'm just going to say this is equal to uh, I'm going to call the sum function so I'm going to type in sum okay uh, followed by a round brace and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from the first cell here in the data set all the way down to the last cell here, okay, so I'm putting in a range of values, okay, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so you can see it's actually going in a C3 uh, to G14, this cell up here is C3, and this cell down here is in the column G, and it's on the row 14, so the data set, the range of values is from C3 to G14, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off the round brace, I'm just going to hit return, and what that tells me is that the sum, the total of the summation of all the values in that particular, this particular data set, is equal to 4,100. Okay, so I know the total value uh, for, for this, the summation of all the data values. Say if I'm interested in calculating what the sum of the data is in individual columns. Okay, well to do that I need to click on the individual column. In this case, let's say we want to sum up the first column of data, okay? And I call the function sum, so I'm going to say equals sum, followed by a round brace. And then what I do is I select the values that I want to sum up. So I'm going to select the values in this column here from C3 all the way down to C14. So let me select them. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to scroll down to C14, okay? So you can actually see that the formula has equal sum, open round brace, C3, colon to C14, and I'm going to close that off here, uh, and I'm going to hit return. So actually the summation of these particular values here is 825. I'll just center these values here. It's 825. Okay? Uh, so if I want to actually sum all of the columns, all I need to do is hold on to the old, I just activate this particular cell by clicking on it. Go to the small little square box here at the right hand side of the square of the, of the cell and just scroll this across to the end. Okay, and what that'll do is it'll apply the formula. Okay, the same formula, the summation, yeah, right across each one of the columns. So you can actually see when I double click on the first cell, the column that's activated is the first column. Okay, when I click on the second column, on the second cell here, the column that's activated is the second column, and what we have is we have so on and so forth. Actually, what we've done here is when we've specified the range here, okay, we've specified the range in what's known as relative mode, okay? We didn't do absolute mode, that's when we have the column, the column, uh, I suppose the column uh, symbols, uh, which are wrapped in dollar signs, that's an absolute mode, which would keep that range fixed, okay? But this is absolute range summing here, in this case, so all there is is we just actually specify the range itself, okay? Uh, if I want to sum up the rows, okay, well, once again, what I say is I go to the cell where I want to put the summation. In this case, I'm going to say this is equal to sum, followed by an open round brace, and I'm going to specify the first row. Okay, close the round brace, hit return, the sum of the first row of data is 341. Okay, if I grab this small, you see that this cell is activated now, we see a small little square box here. Okay, a uh, small little square box here at the bottom right hand corner of this cell. If I click on that and if I drag this down, 
this formula will be applied to each row down that particular column okay so what we've actually done here is we've summed up uh, we've summed up the whoops we've summed up the columns and we've summed up the rows and we've summed up the total amount with respect to this particular data set and that's how we do the summation okay it's just simply we call the function sum okay so guys uh, once again this was uh, one of uh, the many videos in this particular series dealing with excel basics and excel basic functions and i hope this was somewhat intuitive and helpful once again my name is jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland